so I can move this guy just a bit more. And again, I'm just thinking about ways uh, of kind of like making this guy look more like the concept. I mean, it's not like I made this guy before the tutorial. This is like the first time I do it. And uh, again, you should be able to uh, make any model without any practice of without making it more than once, I guess. Uh, so because this is the first time I'm just doing it, um, you know, kind of thinking about how to make it as I go. Scale that guy down just a bit. I think, I think it, this matches just a bit more to the concept. You can rotate it just a little bit more. I'm going to duplicate this guy, press Ctrl D, just so that I can use it for the uh, top area uh, to show how these pieces connect. Because you need uh, pieces to show that they connect or else it just doesn't make much sense. Uh, you want it to make sense. You want to make it so that the pieces you're making make sense. But sometimes when you're working in the low poly models you have to uh, compromise. And this may be one of those cases but uh, we'll, we'll see how, how far we go uh, poly count wise. So I'm just going to scale this guy a bit. Maybe rotate it just a bit more. And of course you don't have to do it exactly as I'm, as I'm doing it. Uh, uh, you can obviously take your time or uh, whatever makes you satisfied. Press Ctrl D to duplicate that guy so I can have it on the other side. Actually, let me do something else here. I'm gonna scale this. I think I want to make it uh, not, not so thick. Control D now and move this guy to the side. And I think that's working pretty well. Um, it's not bad. Uh, maybe we can do better, but uh, again, for the sake of this video, I don't, I don't want to drag it. I don't want to drag on too much with it. One thing I want to do with this guy is just kill that guy just a bit more. Like that. There we go. Okay, so now that we have those guys done, I think we can uh, move on to something else another part of the model I think probably the uh, the cannon itself so I can do is use that piece duplicate it and guess what we're going to use it as the cannon let's move that guy up there to the middle and yeah we're going to use this guy as a cannon again it's just the easiest way it's just to reuse pieces and uh, just shape them Let me go to side view here. Scale that guy down. Scale that guy down. Go to vertex. Kind of make it longer like that. And for this one, I'm gonna have to be paying a lot of attention to the uh, concept. Again, we don't have like a side view or anything like that. So we have to work with the uh, perspective uh, concept that we have. And sometimes you have to work with what you have. So this is one of those cases. scale that guy down just a bit more okay now I'm just looking back again looking back at the concept just to make sure I got uh, an idea go to insert edge loop tool and go back to the concept I just want to make sure I get this right add an edge loop there 
Okay, another one. Let me just move these guys down, scale them a bit. Move them this way, just for the tip of the uh, cannon piece there. Is there another edge loop? I'm gonna add one right here. Look back at the concept. And one right here. Obviously I recommend that you look at the concept a lot. Oops. Let's go to edit mesh transform component. Use the blue arrow to scale that area up. Uh, just a bit like this. Move this guy back. Scale that guy down just a bit. Go to Edit Mesh Insert Edge Loop 2. Going to Transform Component and just make this guy a bit uh, smaller. Again, it's just about shaping and adding edge loops. Another edge loop right there. Let me move this guy back. And I'm just going to continue to add more edges and just shape it. Again, look at the concept as much as you can. Uh, don't rely uh, purely on my uh, video, I guess. Just gonna do this as I go here. Transform component. Use the blue arrow. Whenever you use the transform component, uh, I recommend that you use the blue arrow to scale the area. Again, I'm going to transform component. On this guy, scale that guy out. Move these guys back there. I think I can insert another edge loop right here. Or maybe another one here. And now finally I'm going to transform component and just scale that guy up. Select those vertices and I'm going to scale these guys just a bit like this. Move this guy back just a bit. Scale that. Now I'm going to face mode and select only the front faces and go to edit mesh extrude. Go to press R and scale those down a bit. Scale that up just a little bit. 
Now press G. I mean, never mind. I'm just... Now let's go to other match extrude one more time, and now just move this guy back so that we have the inside of the uh, turret part. And there we have it. Now I can move this guy back. And I think that's looking pretty good. Uh, it's really close. Of course, you can take your time and make sure that it looks as close to the concept as possible. We'll scale this guy just a bit more. In my case, I think for me it's a bit, a bit too big. So there we have it. It's coming out pretty good. We'll continue in the next part.